Welcome back. If you watched the first video where I went over importing into Lightroom, we are now moving on to part two, which is I'm going to go through the process that I use when I travel. So in this particular case, it's my images of Cuba. And what I'm going to do is because the images are on an external drive, it's a, it's a portable drive, but it's also one that I change things on regularly. So it's not one of my regular storage drives. I want to get the images from there over to my main drives and backed up. And I also want to put it into my main catalog. So while I'm traveling, I create a temporary catalog in the name of Cuba for this instance. And I will show you the steps that I will take to export all of it, including any processing that I've done to my files into my main catalog. Are you ready? Okay, so in here we have all the images I shot in Cuba. And when you go into the folder itself and you go up here into your file menu, you can just choose what it says here is export as catalog. Okay, so export basically in Lightroom means save as when you're exporting your files. When you export a catalog, it takes everything that has to do with those images. So any keywords you've applied, any tags, any developing you've done to your images, that all comes along with them. You can also choose to bring the raw files as well, which I am going to do because I want to make another copy of them. Okay, so the first thing that comes up, you see this dialog box and it's going to want a, a name. Okay, so I'm going to call it Cuba Transfer. Okay, because I'm going to be transferring it. I want to put it on my two terabyte drive. And again, notice everything I do is in categories. So it's small number of choices every time. So images, and then it's under travel tours. Notice I have a Cuba 2014. So I'm going to make a new Cuba 2015 folder. And that is where I'm going to put it. Okay, down the bottom here, it asked me, do I want to export the, the, the negative files? So that would be the DNGs or the raw files. Do I want to make previews? Yes. Okay, I don't want to build smart previews and I don't want to select uh, export only selected photos. I want to export all of them. So the two things I'm going to take off are export the negative files. So what that's going to do, is going to take a really long time. So I'm going to have to pause the video and come back, but it's going to take all of my raw files make a copy of it over in this new location. So it's still gonna leave them over here on my temporary, on my portable drive, but it's gonna put them also on my main drive. Okay, so once I hit go, export catalog, it's gonna start creating that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the button now. Okay, so copying images to new catalog. So now you can see the dialog box up here. Okay, it says exporting new catalog. And if I go over to my drive and let's look in that folder okay so you can see that a folder has been created inside and the images are being put in there okay so you can see that the images are now slowly showing up okay and as that happens the catalog will be created in this folder as well so it's going to take some time because there are 3163 of them so i'm going to pause the video and i'll be back when it is completed Okay, so I'm back. That took a little bit longer than I was anticipating. It took about two and a half hours. As you can see, the images are all transferred here over to the two terabyte drive. And there is a Lightroom catalog that's created called Cuba Transfer. So Lightroom has created all of that for me. So now all I have to do is go back to Lightroom, open my main catalog or my main database, and import this one in and merge it. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and open Recent, which is my Lightroom 5, is my main catalog. Okay, and if you set your preferences up the way I have, it's going to remind you to back up if you're switching. This is a good idea. Make sure you do this. If you are going to do this, make sure that you back up your catalog to an external drive because your catalog lives on your main computer and your backups need to live on a different drive. So make sure you back it up to a different drive and you choose the destination here. Okay, I'm not gonna do that right now, just in the essence of time. Okay, so I'm gonna skip that and I'm just gonna open the other catalog. Okay, so while it's doing that, 
uh, just want to remind you again, make sure you back up both your catalog and your images because they don't live in the same place. Okay, so now this is my main catalog. And as you can see, I have 100,499 images in this catalog. So we're going to add to it another 3,000 and some that we just exported as the Cuba catalog. Okay, so now, like before, we're going to import from another catalog. So just as we did export, we're going to import from another catalog. Okay, now I could have just imported directly from the original catalog, but it might not have pulled the images as I want. So I'm going to go and find this now, Cuba 2005, and there is the catalog that was created. So when I do that, it's going to pull in all the information. It's going to know where the images are and any processing and sorting and keywording that I did in the other catalog will come along with it. Okay. So there is my transfer catalog. It's basically just a temporary file. I'm going to choose it and it's going to add these. Okay. So it comes up with this dialog box. It's asking me, what do we really like to do? It's found 3000 new photos. Yes, of course. Okay. So I want it to add them. Okay, so I'm going to import those. If it comes up with any conflict, it will let you know here if there's any that are similar um, file name or if it thinks they're the same and you can choose how you want to handle those. Okay, so it's going to import those into this existing catalog. And once it does, we should see them show up down at the bottom by the, the same folder where we put them. So I'll be back when this process is finished and we'll complete this step. Okay, so the import is done, and like before, you can see that the previous or current import in this case shows the same number of pictures that we exported. So that's a good sign. 3,163 went out of the other database, 3,163 came in here. So we're gonna right click, show it in the folder in the library, and there it is. So the only thing that I would probably do here is just to clean up the folder structure a little bit. I wouldn't use necessarily all of these, these subfolders. So what I will do is just move them. And the easiest way to do that is just select them all and literally just move them up to this top folder. Um, you'll see these ones emptying. So nothing will happen if we stay here. This will have the same number. But as these get empty, I'm just going to delete these, these lower folders once that's empty. Yeah, it will take a moment to do so. The other thing that I can do is I can actually get rid of this Cuba transfer and this previous file now, the temporary Lightroom catalog that I created, which is no longer needed. So I'm going to take those two and I'm just going to delete them. So we can see the images are moving and once that is done, I will just select and delete these file, these folders. Okay. So that's how I have now successfully transported the images from the temporary drive over to the two terabyte, my main drive on my desktop. And from here, I will manually make it back up to my other drive once this folder move is completed. Then I will have two copies and I'll set it to do the online backup as I usually do every night. So I hope that's helpful for you if you travel a lot and it gives you an idea of how to manage catalogs. It's actually quite simple once you get the hang of it and it saves you trying to work some sort of a network drive where you plug it into um, you know, two different drives and working off of, of different things. It gets a little confusing. So I take my temporary drive with me. Once I'm done my trip, I put it all back to my main drive, keep everything in one place. So this has been Darlene from Digital Photo Mentor with another Lightroom tutorial and we'll see you next time.